Hi, my piano students, how are you doing today? I just played for you uh, Chopin Nocturnal Best Forty Number no. 1 in C sharp minor. It has a beautiful beginning. Now, if you notice my arm, it was very loose and very fluid. Now, it looks great visually, but it's not just for show. Um, there are many reasons why concert pianists do that, and the two main reasons, in my opinion, are first, to avoid unnecessary tension, and second, to create a rich, full, and beautiful sound. Think of it as throwing an object. So if you want to throw very far away, you're not going to be just using your forearm. You probably use the full range of motion like that to throw very, very far away from yourself. It is the same uh, with the piano. If you want to create a, a big, full, beautiful sound, you don't want to be just using your fingers. You want to incorporate your entire arm. I'll use um, an excerpt in the Chopin's Gershon number no. three as an example. So the first, I'll be played two times. The first time I'll be just using my fingers. Now the sound, it's not full. Okay, it's very uh, reserved. Now I'll use um, my arm right now. and a full rich beautiful sound now so how do we have how do we develop this fluid and loose arm movement a lot of my teachers have told me well Ben you have to relax your arms as if all the energy all the weight transfer from your shoulder to your fingertips now it is a great suggestion but for some reason I had the hardest time to grasp this concept when I first heard it, heard it and later on I came up with this exercise myself and I tried to um, introduce that to my students and my, my students understood the concept immediately and so I tried I'm trying to introduce you to this concept to help you create and develop this free arm movement it's very simple all you need to do is stand in front of a wall <clears throat> now put your hands on the wall in the natural position now if you remember the natural position it's when you hang your arms on the side and this is your natural hand position so what you want to do is lean towards the wall, have strong fingertips, and push against the wall with your arms, like that. Okay? Whoops. Well, let's try one more time. Okay. So right here, lean towards the wall, strong fingertips, push against the wall. Okay. We're going to use the same concept on the keyboard right now. So you want to press down the keys. Any keys will work. You don't have to play C, D, E, F, G. It doesn't matter. Right now, you want to lean towards it as if you were leaning towards the wall. So it's, you can see there's tension in my uh, upper arm and forearm. And then you push against the key like that and release the tension. Now, you can practice in the following way. Do the first time with three seconds, leaning toward, uh, pressing down the key, and then two seconds, and then one second, and eventually do it in one motion. I'll show you how to do that. So press down the keys. Lean towards it, push down, three, two, one, push against it with your arms. And then you do the two second one. One, two, and then one second. One. And then now we'll do one motion. Okay, so that way you know how it feels to have a free and fluid arm. And it, which is very important in creating the, the beautiful sound. So I hope this exercise will help you in your practice. So practice hard and I will see you in our next lesson. Thank you. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like my video. Thanks.